Hello, I'm Kai Mark II, obviously. Now, I've been asked to do another review of the D3S because Mr. Hansman did it before and the producer said it's bloody rubbish. AV cable, battery charger, power cord, and of course, the Nikon D3S body itself. I have the Nikon 85mm f1.4 D lens. No need to say, this doesn't come with the D3S. You have to buy it separately. So they've asked me to do it again, because Kai is doing something else, like rubbing his Leica up. Oh yeah, okay, let's do it. Now let's first of all look at what Mr. Hansman said originally in that review, and then I'll come up with my answer to what I think about this. The Nikon D3S comes with instruction manual. Instruction manual? Poo! Who needs instruction manuals? I know how to use a camera. If I don't know how to use a feature, then it's not worth knowing. You know, all I really care about is the camera it bloody self. Yeah. And of course, the Nikon D3S body itself. camera uh, feels solid as you would expect from uh, a single digit uh, Nikon series the D3 it's full frame and uh, comes with a magnesium alloy body that is weatherproof on the uh, back of the camera you actually have a dual CF card slot as you can see all right bloody bloody blah let's just get to the point yeah buttons yeah whatever stuff Little levers here, yeah, weather sealing, uh, screen. There we go, dual card memory slots, bang. Fire, away, lock on, bang. Yes, jet, go. And as Mr. Hansman says, PV button for pervy movie shooting. Um, not sure if the PV button has anything to do with build quality, but a Nikon D3S, like their other pro range DSLRs, is incredibly Oosh. solid. Oosh. The focus button. Bloody hell, looks like your lens is on fire. Anyway, let's get to the point. The build quality of this is bloody fantastic. Tough enough to drop, robust enough to beat off a thief. Not like that. As you'd expect from a pro level body from Nikon, it has all the toughness and sealing to get you shots in some really inhospitable environments. When looking at the D3S and talking about design, uh, I think it's really one of the things that Nikon is famous for. It's its user friendliness, especially in the pro models. Because oh look, the it's the amazing talking Nikon D3S. Are uh, always convenient so that you don't have to flap around your camera while you're doing what's important to you. Flap that. around, what does that even mean? I don't know. But what I do know is that the user friendliness of this Nikon is absolutely great. All the buttons in the right places. Unless you're a Canon user. You have your bracketing button, your flash button, also your control for your shooting settings, your autofocus button, multi selector, whereas your ISO quality, white balance button. See, the side. back is made for control freaks just like me. All the buttons within finger reaching distance. There you go. Trash. Play, menu, zoom, lock, okay, good, info, ISO, quality, white balance, bang, yes. Lovely. There's nothing really revolutionary with the design of D3S. It's still very much unchanged over the D3 and the D3X. Though the battery compartment latch is a bit bigger, so that's probably easier to change when you have boxing gloves on. But otherwise, it's very much the same. So anyway, design. I give it a five out of five. Or well, if you can use a three out of five. And of course, as my former colleague was saying, all the buttons are in the right places. And he said, 
Nikon are famous for user friendliness. But if you're a beginner, you're gonna be like, bloody hell, look at all those buttons. What am I gonna do? So user friendliness, yes, okay, if you're me. If you're a beginner, don't even think about it. Well, the price point puts it out of reach for a lot of beginners, but this camera really is easy enough for beginners to use, yet it has all the performance and features any pro would want, especially with those high ISO capabilities. The user friendliness of the D3S goes hand in hand with the design, as I mentioned earlier. So now, moving on to user friendliness. Hang on, haven't we just done that? Let's do something interesting. Let's go on to performance. The major improvement, I believe, is the ISO sensitivity. This camera is already a very high performer. However, it doesn't stop there because you can actually have this extended up to a full three stops above that, thereby giving you a maximum of 102,400. Headshot. Oh yeah, you know when I first got this camera it absolutely blew my mind away. The high ISO performance, you can get really low light, low noise, shots in the dark. Yeah, the other day I packed a local celebrity hugging a dog in her bed and the headline was Pop Princess and Puppy Love Shock. You see, let's bump up the ISO and the f-stop. See what I can get. Let's have a look, action! <laughs> this is where the D3S really shines. Even up to ISO 8000, the files are still usable, meaning it's a bloody good perks camera. Bang! Check that out. Oh yeah. What did you get? Nothing. Exactly. I win. Here we're demonstrating it in full frame worlds at 9 frames per second. Makes you want to do it all day. Oh, woof. You're damn right. Who needs to go on the internet to surf for saucy stuff when you can do this all day? Oh, it's in pants. Oh, 9 frames per second, full frame mode. Oh, check that out. If you want a full frame DSLR with an amazing burst rate, this is the one. At 9 frames per second, it's currently the fastest full frame DSLR. So vicious, it would rip your face off. Ooh. The focus works even before I can think. That's how good it is. <laughs> got a flat hat on, flat cap. Who does he think he is? Me? To be honest, nearly two years on after its introduction, the D3S still seems like a refreshingly good choice for a Pro DSLR. There's no questioning its capabilities, although some might question the 12 megapixels. Of course, lots of digital cameras these days have surpassed 12 megapixels, but the D3S is all about giving you clean files, even at higher ISOs. Although there are plenty of people wondering what will become of the inevitable D4, there's no denying that there's still plenty of life in the D3S for some while. <laughs>